Hey everyone, it's Michelle the Dreaming Dilettante coming out to you with this week's video. So I wanted to share with you, I've been making tags. We had a really beautiful spring day yesterday and I was inspired to make um, spring themed tags. Now pretty much all of the ephemera, I, I think actually all of it with the exception of maybe this rhythm, a uh, ribbon rather here, um, came from my stash from my Lollipop Box Club subscription. So if you're looking for, um, if you like this style and, the, and the, the things that you're seeing here, some of them are older kits, but one of them is actually, I believe, the current kit. So depending on when you're watching this, you can still get that. And I'll just put a link to uh, Lisa's shop in the description box below. But what I wanted to show you is the tags I've already made. So I've made this one here, and I haven't punched holes in them yet, but you can. And so these are great because you can journal on the back if you wanted to, tuck them into pockets, all kinds of things. And then this is another one that I made. It's again, you know guys know I like to use up my scraps, so this is another one. And then I just made some fun shapes. These I all cut, um, I cut all uh, freehand. So I just kind of, um, I'll show you how I do that. It's not really all that complicated or precise, but basically I just take a piece of paper and you could do this with a paper trimmer to be more exact, but I'm just gonna give you the general idea here. And cut a piece of paper, kind of the width you want, and then you can decide how tall or short you want it. And then just kind of cut a triangle. And then to be a little bit more exacting, you can use, you might've seen this trick on, I've, I've seen it on other channels, that little cutoff piece. Actually, I think Lisa did a video with this too. Um, and then cut off the other corner. And then I usually realize it's still crooked and then I trim it up because that's just how I go. <laughs> it's just, that is all sorts of crooked, but you get the idea. Why is that so crooked? I think I put it on the wrong side. Hang on. Take two. So we're going <laughs> to cut off the angle here. When I measure, I think I, I think I put it, yeah, that's what I did. I must have flipped it the wrong way. That's what happened. When I measure, things go wrong. <laughs> Yes, whatever I try to be exact, I measure it wrong. But those of you who are exacting probably saw me turn it the wrong way and knew it was going to come out wrong. So that's how I do it. And then sometimes I'll like trim it up. If I think, ooh, that top's too long, I'm going to trim it up a bit. Okay, that is a very horrible example, but you get the idea. You can take your time. I just wanted to give you an idea. And, and then you've got a ton of different shapes. So I have a couple. We'll put that little guy aside. I'll find a, a purpose for him. So I've made a couple bases. Um, just again, these were all eyeball, uh, different sizes. So I have a couple here to work with. And what I wanted to show you though, now I, I wasn't going to show you how to, how I decorate these only because, um, I decorate pretty much the same, um, as I do in the last two videos. So when we did, um, my mini books and things like that, it's just kind of collage. We will do one together, but it, the focus isn't on decorating the tags. But I had an idea that came to me last night <laughs> when I was thinking about the video because I didn't want to just give you guys the same as what I've been doing, which was just, you know, watching me put stuff together. So I had an idea. Um, I have my little giant tag here, which I, I do love giant tags. And you could turn these into a journal themselves or put them into a nice big chunky journal you have or put them as a tip in into a page. But what I did was I wanted to put a pocket, a hidden door on this tag. So when you open this up, you have a spot for journaling. You could put a photo, um, I mean, anything really. So that was my idea. So I was gonna show you how I made this. It's pretty, I think, self-explanatory. I just thought it was really fun. So um, this tag, I actually traced from what I have from a kit and I believe I've lost it. Um, but it's from a kit that I have, and I'll, I'll try to link the kit below. It's, um, I believe it's Illustrated Faith. Yes, it is Illustrated Faith. Um, so it's one of their kits. It's a digital download. So if that's important to you and you want to have this exact shape, you can. You can do this with any size tag. Um, the dimensions are about four and a half by seven and a half, roughly. So if you wanted to just cut one freehand, you could do that. But I will put a link in the description. So what I've done is I've already traced, um, oh, but I want to point out something. Did you notice here, like, how pretty the, this is some inking that I did, 
and it just blended together to make some really pretty colors. So I'll show you how I did that as well. And so what I did was I just traced my tag. I don't know if you can see that here. I think you can kind of see it. And I've taken a regular piece of eight and a half, that's letter size um, paper. This is cardstock. And I fold it in half. And then I'm just gonna cut out so I have two of the exact same. And I'm using um, like a cream colored cardstock because that's what I have. But you could of course do whatever you want. And you could cut this on the fold. I don't think it would really matter. I didn't just so I had two separate pieces. Um, I thought it would be easier to work with that way because I'll show you how I come up with my pocket. And of course you could, you know, you don't have to do your little door, not pocket, door. Um, you don't have to do your door the way I did. But what I did, chose to do was I took one of the tags I had made, one of the smaller ones, and I'm going to turn that into my door. So I'm going to put one of those to the side. Now, you don't have to do what I'm about to do because you could just um, put a piece of washi here and kind of make it like a flip, but I really wanted it to feel like a door. So I'm going to line this up. Don't worry, this isn't really measuring. It's just more me trying to make sure I cut straight because <laughs> as I've demonstrated, I struggle with that. So I'm just lining um, up the bottoms of these just so they're lined up. We're not going to cut it straight down to open it up that way, but it just gives me, um, I don't know, it's just how my brain works. And then I'm just crookedly tracing. And then I erased my pencil lines, but it occurred to me afterwards that you could um, if you want the door to open this way, you could just cut out here and then you have your hinge here and then flip it over so you don't have to erase your, I'll, I'll show you, but, um, yeah, you can reverse it, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. And then you can, you can choose how you would like to do it. So I just cut along the line. I'm using an X-Acto knife. You probably could use a pair of scissors. Oh, and the other thing I did was I just took a straight edge and I lined this up on my cutting mat. And I brought this up about half an inch from the bottom. And I just drew a straight line because I want to leave um, like a support there so it's nice. I didn't want it to open up where there was a, a hole here at the bottom. I feel like I'm not being clear. I hope I'm being clear. <laughs> it's not complicated, so I'm sure you already know where this is going. Um, but if you have any questions, always you know, feel free to comment below and be like, what did you mean here, or why did you do it that way? Um, I may not have an answer for that one, but <laughs> I can help try to answer.
I wanted to show you this is my finished tag I pretty much everything um, is from my lollipop box club kit with the exception of this trim and this trim the button and the brown paper that I used. I think everything else oh and um the dictionary page but everything else came in that in my lollipop box club kits so if you like these like bright kits um, you'll want to check that out the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of eyeball the center and just put a pencil mark and then I'm going to take my hole punch and punch my hole through um, both pieces and I think I'm going to use some of this trim I have. But you could use Baker's twine, whatever you want. Yeah, I like that. And I just tied that off at the top. Now, you of course could put an indicator that, you know, make this a little more obvious that it's a door. Uh, I kind of like the idea of it being a secret door, so I'm not going to do that. I feel like it's something you'd have to really look for to find. Um, and then when you open this up, if you wanted to put another piece of card here so you don't have the two-tone, you totally could do that. I'm not at this stage because I feel like once I go to put this in a journal, I might want to do things a little bit differently. So this leaves me, if I want to put a full sheet of maybe writing paper here to a journal, I can use the tag however I want. So that's why I'm not going to do it that way. But there is your secret journal tag. And the only uh, little tips I would say is that when you're gluing, if you do it the way I did, where you're gluing an existing tag on top of your door flap, I didn't go past, I lined them up at the bottom here, as you can see. And then you just want to make sure you're not getting any excess glue. That's why I put the glue on the door itself, so that you're not gluing your little flap closed. But other than that, there is your tag. So we have a couple fun tags made. I'd love to see it. So if you make some spring inspired tags, please do, you know, comment below. Feel free to tag me. I am on Instagram now. So if you wanted to tag me on that, you could do that. And I have my other big one here. Um, or you can comment on my blog post. And if you have a blog, please do put a link to your uh, blog post on mine. And I'd love to come by and check out your work. So that's for, for me today. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.